click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about soaps and the preparation of it. And now in this topic we are going to talk about detergents and its type. So now let us understand this topic. So friends, just like soap, even detergents are basically a good cleaning agent and that's the reason that I'm going to talk about that is the types of the detergents also. So in this case, let us understand the definition of detergent. So now let us understand what is detergent. The synthetic detergent contains that is sodium salt of alkyl hydrogen sulfate or sodium salt of long chain alkyl benzene sulfonic acids. So based on that, that is it is basically divided into three types and those three types are anionic, cationic and non-ionic detergents. So based on that, let me talk about the first one that is what is anionic detergent so friends here we are going to talk about the anionic detergent and that is they are sodium sort of sulfonated long chain alcohols or hydrocarbons so in this case i have mentioned a particular example so here we have to consider that is lauryl alcohol that is ch3 ch2 10 times ch2 oh and we have to react it with h2so4 so that is by sulfonation reaction so therefore in this case this one this is the product that is what we could obtain and after that so therefore the product that is what we could obtain is sodium lauryl sulfate so this is the thing that is what we could get and here basically if we find that is the sodium will acquire a positive charge while the whole group that is this group it will acquire a negative charge that's the reason the name is anionic detergent because it is a negatively charged detergent and this sodium is obviously insoluble in water but this actually it helps to remove all the dirtiness that is on the cloth or it or it behaves like a cleaning agent in this case so now let me talk about the next one that is cationic detergent so talking about cationic detergent that is they are the quaternary ammonium salts of amines and in this case this is a particular example and the example is cetyl trimethyl ammonium chloride in which we could see that is the nitrogen that would require a positive charge and this is a larger group that is basically it will help in removing the dirt or it will help in removing all the impurities that will be on the cloth or any kind of floor or that's the reason that this part is basically or this part of hydrocarbon is not soluble in water while this is soluble in water and this will take away all the dirtiness that is on the cloth or on the floor etc so now let me talk about the next one that is non-ionic detergent so now we are going to talk about non-ionic detergent and this detergents are either monoesters or polyhydric alcohols or polyethers derived from ethylene oxide so therefore this is one of the example that is what i have mentioned over here and in this case this is very much soluble in water and this hydrocarbons are basically not cationic and even they are not anionic in nature and that's the reason that even this are widely used nowadays so therefore this was nothing but a topic related to the detergent but talking about the detergent and soap the both have a common nature that is they are using as a cleansing agent and that's the reason that if you talk about the comparison we'll get to know that is detergents are more widely used nowadays and the reason behind that is it is soluble in any kind of water that is even though it is hard water or even though it is that is soft water so it has a cleaning agent in both kind of waters while talking about that is soap soaps are not so talking about soaps soaps cannot be used in hard water because the hard water consists of calcium and magnesium so whenever the soap molecules if they interact with calcium and magnesium they form a white color that is ppt or that is precipitate and that's the reason that soaps are actually avoided in hard waters and that makes the water pollution and that's the reason that water pollution can also occur so that's the reason that detergents are also used and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much